What is going on, boys and girls? It is me, Dennis Brogan. Back to you with a part two for making a server on Minecraft. Um, last time, a lot of people had troubles with the whole 1.19.3 stuff in the future version, so I'm going to help you how to get through that. Let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do, we're going to need to download Forge from the Forge website. I'll leave all of the links and all that sort of stuff in the description so that you can get onto it. So when you get onto here, 1.90.3, we download the installer. Okay, uh, quick tip before we get anywhere. Uh, I would suggest making a file, call it server, and then just save it into there for now. Okay, now that we've got that, we can go into here, double click on this, and then we want to install server. And then on these three buttons, dots, sorry, go on here, go on to desktop, and click where you just had your server. It doesn't matter if it's still red, click OK and then just wait for it to unpack all the libraries and all that sort of good shizzle. Okay, now you've got the okay successfully, boom, okay that. And now, what I didn't explain last time, which I think a lot of people were getting stuck on, was a whole um, how much gigabytes you can have of RAM. So on this one, we go over to user JVM, double click into that, and then it says, as you can see here, where it's got XMX, 4G, and all that sort of stuff. You can change it to megabytes and use this part of code as well, if you really want to. Um, but all we've got to do is take from here, backspace twice, and change that to the value that you want your server to actually be at. So for me, I'm just going to put it at six for now. And then exit out, save. Now we run the bat. And then it's going to start doing all this good stuff and it will stop you and it will say, do you agree to the EULA? We go into the EULA text. Change that to true. it out save it and now run the bat again and as you can see the bat will then actually start generating all of the folders that we need to the world the mod the logs all that sort of stuff and it will open up the server just wait until it's completely done so it's opened up all the correct stuff you can change your world at any time anyway i'll show you how to do that as well Okay, so now it says that everything's successful. Cool, we can exit out of all this. Sweet. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I actually get all the server and all that sort of stuff? Uh, all the files and mods and all that sort of stuff. What we're gonna need to do is go on to Curse, Curse Forge. You can easily go onto that, just type in Curse Forge. Curse Forge downloader, go into here and download that. Once it download, I go into that, it'll tell you where, what uh, edition you have and all that. If you have Minecraft, you have other games and you can mod and all that sort of stuff. Go into Minecraft. For this example, I've... Uh, so, now that we're here and you've got the whole Minecraft side, what you're going to want to do is go into Browse, Mod Packs, and go into 1.19.3. Obviously, you can change which forge you have on, on the made forge website. Uh, and then you can download whatever it is that you want. This example, I've gone with fabulously optimized. So we go into here for now. And then what you go is allow content management for this profile. Go back in. Open the folder. And then what I would do is copy all of it, 
go into yours. Click down there. Paste. And now, when you open your thing, it should start doing the whole server side of stuff. Okay, and now we need to set up the actual port forwarding. This is done by Ngrok. I've done this one before, so if you want to go look at the other video, you can look at that as well. But I'm just going to do it from the start, so it's easier for everyone. We go in and we download. Then it will make a zip file. We go into that. Uh, I would just put that onto the actual desktop because it's easier to find. And then open Ngrok. Okay, and now on the website you can see here it says add auth key. So here, copy, and then you sign up. And then here, you can just copy the whole entire thing. Go into your Ngrok, paste, enter. And now your ngrok uh, key is saved. Um, what we're going to need to do is type in ngrok tcp25565 and then enter. Okay, I spelled that wrong. So it's ngrok tcp. And then to five five six five. Sorry. Okay, now we've got all this. This is what we're going to use for the actual server to load into it. So we just copy that. Make sure you do where the number is to the end of the number. And now that that's open, we go back to our server. Uh, we run the back. Let that do its thing. Let's open up. Okay, so the game is now loaded and we are in. So what you want to go to is head to multiplayer. Okay, do all that shizzle, allow. Make sure you allow so it actually does connect, otherwise that'll give you just dramas. Add server and then paste in your TCP stuff. Click done and then you should see it there as your server. Click into it. Um, just to be clear, I did have a couple of dramas just now with the mods it seems that because there's not too many 1.19.3 sort of really good mods at the moment it's it's a bit iffy if that if it'll actually load into your minecraft world but yeah as you can see wait let me do oh ah, yeah there you go as you can see it's on it's live that's the server if you actually need any help or any of that sort of stuff uh, in, the, in the description, I will put in my Discord server. So just jump into that, say hi, and then go into. I'll make a tab that's like uh, help needed or something. Join into that, say help, and then I'll come and help you. Um, yeah. Hope you have a nice day, nice weekend, nice month, whatever. Bye.